Hello children, and welcome to another episode of Paper Knights. Today we will be hearing the story of the brave knight and the beautiful princess. Once upon a time, there was a very brave knight. He feared nothing, and people from all over the kingdom would come to him and beg for his assistance. One day, a very wise old king asked for the knight's help in a very important matter. So the knight went to him right away. Young knight, I need your help in a very important matter. My daughter, the princess, has been kidnapped and locked away in a castle. The castle is guarded by a terrible fire-breathing dragon. You must go there and save her. Then, when you return with my daughter, you may ask for anything you wish in return. The knight agreed and headed straight out to find the castle and rescue the princess. The king had told him to look for a castle with a red flag on the top of it. After many days of travelling, the knight finally came to the castle he had been searching for. True to his word, the castle was being guarded by a terrifying fire-breathing dragon. You've come to free the princess I have locked up here, have you, small knight? Well, I don't think so. Prepare to meet your doom, snarled the dragon. Not this time, dragon, retorted the knight. The dragon attacked our brave knight, but the knight stood his ground. After a harrowing battle, the knight finally defeated the dragon. I am beaten! As the dragon fell, the beautiful princess emerged from the castle. Thank you, brave sir knight. You have rescued me from the dragon's flames. The knight could see at once how beautiful the princess was. He immediately fell in love with her. He then took the princess back to her father, just as he had promised to do. The old king was very grateful. You have brought my daughter back to me just as you promised, and as I promised you may ask for anything you wish in return. But the knight shook his head and said he wanted nothing for returning the princess, but that just knowing she was safe was enough reward for him. The princess was in awe of his generosity of spirit and immediately fell in love with the knight, so the king allowed that they should be together. Thank you again, Sir Knight, for saving my daughter from the dragon, who felt he had to work out all the time, apparently. As the king dissed the awfully ripped dragon, the knight carried the princess over the threshold of the castle. As time went on, the knight and princess decided they should move into their own castle together, so they found a lovely Lakeview castle to live in. They were very, very happy together. Over time, the knight started to notice that the princess made quite a bit more gold than he did, and though he was simply a servant to the public, he didn't know what the princess did to earn her gold. He told himself this didn't bother him, but thought about it more and more. One night, the knight was out for some revels with his knightly comrades. They found themselves in a little tavern. This wasn't usually the kind of place the knight would come to, but his greatest friend, Jerry was to be betrothed to another, so he felt obligated. Suddenly, to the knight's shock and dismay, he saw his beautiful princess was there too. She was in the centre of the tavern, dancing the maypole for the enjoyment of the other patrons. Even the well-cut dragon he had saved her from was there watching her dance the maypole. Later the knight tried to have a calm discussion about this with the princess. However, she proceeded to yell things at him like, if you loved me, my job shouldn't matter. And, I knew you would react like this. And, you're patronizing, predictable, self-loathing, and just needing to make everyone else miserable too. It's classic codependent behavior. So the knight realized that the princess had been possessed by a demon. So he went, like, with his sword, yeah, 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 yeah. And all the people of the land came and trampled her. And then a castle came and landed on her and burnt down. Then the aliens came down and went pew 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 Yeah! What are you doing now, huh? What are you doing now? I'm not playing the games like yesteryear, are you? And then the nuclear bomb! Uh. Hi. I'm sorry you were hurt. I'm sorry I hurt you so badly. With that, the knight realised how badly he had reacted to everything that had happened and that the princess may have been right. 
And after that apology, the knight humbly suggested maybe having a coffee and discussing things calmly and sensitively. Or maybe just talking about anything else the princess may want to. Anything in the world. The princess said yes, that would be nice. They all lived happily ever after. Maybe. <laughs>